Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by the Butler. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short tutorial. Uh, it's pretty simple too. I'm going to show you how to make this cool little flame design graphic thing. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of application this has. I suppose you can make it into something that looked cool, but I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun to do and I was bored. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first you're going to go up to file, click new, make the size whatever you want. I'm going to make mine the size of my desktop, so maybe I can apply this as a background, I don't know, let's see. Then go up to filter, render, and then clouds. Then go up to filter, uh, sketch, graphic pen. You're going to set your uh, stroke length to 15, light dark balance to 50, stroke direction right diagonal. Uh, you can change the stroke direction, but I don't really know what it'll do. It'll just give you a different looking effect when you're done. Hit OK. Now go up to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, Amount 70, Blur Method Zoom, Quality Best. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, go over here and double click background layer and just click OK. That'll make it layer zero and unlock it. That's what we're going to need. <coughs> yeah. Um, so now we're going to go over here to filter and then. Um, where is it? Distort Ocean Ripple. Um, it doesn't really matter what you set this on. Uh, just don't go too extreme with it. I have mine at ripple size 9, ripple magnitude 10. Then, um, let's see what's next. I'm trying to remember, I just recently learned this one. Um, now you're going to go to filter, I think, distort, and then... No, filter. Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, then twirl. Distort and then twirl. I have mine set at 397. You can do yours to something else. Doesn't really matter. It'll just give you, as I said, a different looking effect when you're through. Alright, now you're going to go here, set your mode to lighten, and duplicate that layer. And then go up to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now, if you want a different looking way, you can go to edit, transform, and hit flip vertical. That just makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, it, just, it pretty much looks the same, but sideways. Um, I'm going to make mine vertical, or horizontal, because I like it better. So just hit flip horizontal. There you have that. Um, yeah, what's next? All right, now you're going to go down here to this little icon, click it, and go to color balance. Set your first color to negative 100, your second to zero, and your last one to 100. Actually, that's backwards. First one needs to be normal 100 or positive 100. Last one needs to be negative 100. Hit OK. Duplicate that layer. Set on linear burn. And there you have that. You're pretty much done. Um, yeah. Oh! Crap, I almost forgot. Uh, if you want to give it a little bit more of a flame look, uh, combine all these layers just by uh, right clicking and hit merge visible that'll make layer, layer zero copy or something I don't know and go up to filter liquify and uh, zoom in probably down here in the middle somewhere set your brush pressure to a hundred brush size somewhere small at mine at um, let's see it doesn't really matter anywhere from 20 down, then brush density to 50, and just drag up, create these little tongues of flame here. And if you want to go ahead and go on around and make different ones of that size, and then Once 
when you're done with that, uh, decrease your brush size down to, let's put it at 10, and then drag smaller ones off of the larger ones that you made. So yeah, it just makes it look like a bit more of an actual flame. Then hit OK. And I'll put that there. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, uh, yeah, now you're done. Uh, if you like this, rate, subscribe, and comment. Check out my channel. Check out my partner's channels. Uh, have fun, don't die.